Pavel asked a very good question after we finished script fighting. He asked, how do I defend the rolling over the top when, when we are in the sleeve sleeve situation? It was such a good question um, that I wanted to make sure that I answered it after practice and put it on video so that you can watch it. I learned the double sleeve, the initial double sleeve defense from Jimmy Pedro. <clears throat> and I see nothing wrong with giving credit to the individuals who taught you some of the things that they taught you. I think we lose that in the martial arts community. Um, I remember when Jimmy did it to me and I, I was just baffled and perplexed for, I would say weeks and months. And then I asked Israel Hernandez, um, who's an Olympian from Cuba, Olympic bronze medalist from Cuba. And he gave me my, the second um, solution that you see in this video. Um, to push the shoulder and then to use the um, Kosoto Gake. The first one I picked up from training Tiago Alves when he was fighting Carl Parisian of how to use the opposite side of the shoulder to get the hand out in MMA. Then I just end up using it also in this situation, which tells you that you can also use gi situations for no gi and no gi situations for gi if you're interested in learning the concepts and not just the moves themselves. So please enjoy the video. So, Pablo had a question of what happens when, uh, when both people have the sleeve, right? I have Pablo's sleeve, Pablo has my sleeve. One of the ways that I get out is I bend my hand and then I, I, roll, I roll over the top. I use this part to bang. At first, I used to roll it, but now I use this, I use part of the sleeve to bang up and turn down to get off. And when, when, when it comes off, then I come out. So, finish with. Oh, will you grab my sleeve? I grab your sleeve. I do it slow to me. Roll over the top. Oh. Paul was asking me what happened. What do you do when they roll over the top? But sometimes they roll over the top, so, and then bring the elbow back strong. Man, you gotta move out of the way, and then his hand shoots right to the, not to the back of the neck, to the back of the neck. Boom, and then they start dragging you. Right. Okay, man, what do you do? Well, usually when they roll over the top, if you have a good grip on the sleeve, it doesn't happen right away. If that happens, you have to close with the opposite side of the shoulder. So he rolls over the top, he rolls over the top, and what happens? Close with the opposite side of the shoulder. Like hard and bang and pull my hand out. When he goes to close, close. Rip off. The other one is this. When he goes to roll on the top, let it go when he rolls on the top. So he has all the force, roll on the top, boom, and then come and then push the shoulder. So now hold on, hold on to the sleeve. So he has, to, he has to loop his arm out to get out. In order to get out, he has to loop his arm out. So you roll over the top, boom. shoulder to shoulder, or he rolls over the top, and when he rolls over the top, I let it go. And close. So those are, that's mostly for power, those are high level gripping questions, but we'll drill that next time you get in, just that sequence over and over again, all right? Thank you.